Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to stick with it consistently. The more steady your gaze, the more consistent you are in looking after the breath, the better the results are going to be. You'll pick up little bits of tension you didn't realize were there, and you can smooth them out. You get more sensitive to when the breathing is too long or too short, and you can make adjustments. And keep at this, and the body will benefit, the mind will benefit as well. This principle of consistency is very important. As Buddha said, if you're going to live with other people, consistency is one of the things that makes the relationship a good relationship. And the same thing applies to the breath. When another person knows that he or she can depend on you, then the relationship is going to be a lot more solid. You would have that same quality here with the breath. I was reading a book on positive psychology recently. What the author was saying is, if you're consistently good to other people, then they're not going to appreciate it. They're going to take you for granted. If you want to be appreciated, you have to be inconsistent. Um, sometimes good and sometimes not. And you want to take that author out and shake him up a little bit, teaching people to be inconsistent for their own selfish reasons. Consistency does require that you make some sacrifices, but both sides benefit. If your goodness is consistent, then the results of your goodness coming back at you are going to be consistent. And other people have a sense that they can rely on you. Otherwise, like, otherwise it's like an electric system that's inconsistent. Sometimes you get electricity and sometimes not. Or a water system that, where the pipes are breaking all the time. It's really irritating. So try to be consistent, both outside and in. If you want to have a good relationship with your breath, try to be consistent with it. You'll learn a lot from it, and both sides will benefit. <laughs>